this is how you can make an interaction logger system for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started before i show you how to do this i'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel you can do so by joining a channel membership on youtube or a subscription over on discord on youtube if you get the super god or custom bot tier you will get access to that source code and on discord if you get the god or custom bot tier you will also get access to that source code and of course on both platforms if you get the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if any of this is of interest to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video all right so to start we can go over to our index.js file and we can go ahead and call this interaction logging so this is pretty simple what we're going to do is we're going to do client.on then we can get events interaction create we can do comma async interaction and we can go ahead and open this up with an arrow function and here we can say if no interaction then we can just go ahead and return we can also say if no interaction dot is chat input command and we can also go ahead and return and then we can say else and open this up so in here we can do const channel equals await client dot channels dot cache dot git and in here you can input any channel you would like from your test server now the reason why we're using the client here is because this is going to be logging interactions from a bunch of different guilds so you can cache the channel you want to send the message in from the actual client so that when an interaction is used in a different guild we can still send it in that specific server so for me i'm just going to go in here and let's just go ahead and choose any random channel we can just go ahead and do this one and then we can go back in here and paste it in there then we can go ahead and get some more information all from the interaction so we can do const server equals interaction dot guild dot name then we can do const user equals interaction dot user dot username and we can also do const user id equals interaction dot user dot id now we're going to make our embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be green for this video then we can go ahead and set a title and in here i'm just going to go ahead and get an emoji we'll do the caution emoji and then we can go ahead and say chat command used just like that we can go ahead and add fields and this is going to be name which is going to be our server name and then we can do value and in here we can just go ahead and input our server variable so we can add some more fields this time we'll do name and this is going to be chat command which is going to be the interaction that we're logging and we can do value and that is going to be our interaction so the interaction is just this specific interaction it's actually going to be getting you the name of the command you used and all the information you inputted into it for example let's say you used a ban command it would input like slash ban and then it would get the reason user all that stuff and it's going to show that within this interaction so we can add some more fields this time we're going to do name and this is going to be command user and we can do value and in here we can go ahead and open up a string and we can go ahead and get our user and we can do slash and we can get our user id uh, then we can go ahead and set a timestamp so set timestamp and then we can go ahead and set footer and this is going to be text and we can go ahead and say chat command executed so now we can actually go ahead and send this so all we have to do is await channel dot send and we can get our embeds and we can also get our embed so you can either make it an embed like i did here or you could console.log all of this information to your console. Uh, but for me, the reason why I use embeds is because you're basically never going to get to see or use this function if you log it to the console. But if you go ahead and log it to a channel within your bot testing server or your support server or whatever, then you'll be able to check this channel whenever you want and you'll be able to see when people are using your bot. But that's all we have to do for this. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord server here, we are going to be using the tutorial bot for this right here. So basically all we have to do is run a command. So we can just start by doing test and we'll get our tutorial bot and as you can see it's going to say bot is working but it's also going to go ahead and send a message in the channel um, with our command used so it's going to go ahead and get the name of the server the test command right here which is going to be our chat input command and it's also going to go ahead and get the command user which was me and it's going to provide my id so this is going to work if we use any command so let's say we do bot stats this time as you can see it's going to go ahead and send a message with bot stats this time and all the other information is going to be the same so let's try this again but this time let's go ahead and get enlarge and this is going to be enlarging an emoji we'll just do this one it's going to send that message and it's going to say the command was used and it's going to go ahead and say enlarge emoji active dev so this is what i meant by it's going to give you all of the information provided within the command because it's going to provide you with the emoji and the emoji we selected so another thing we can do is we can actually try this within a different server so we can go ahead and try a tutorial bot command let's go ahead and get eight ball and we can say tests or whatever and as you can see, we can just roll it and whatever. We can use our command in here. And the user's not going to know this is happening. But if we go over into our server again, 
this time we go ahead and click on it as you can see a command was used it's going to be the eight ball and it's going to go ahead and give me the question so there's a couple of reasons why you might want to use this one you're going to be able to see how active people are with using your bot and two you're actually going to be able to see when your bot is getting an error because you're going to be able to see it when the last command was used before it crashed so let's say the eight ball command had an error i went ahead and used it and it logged it here but then the bot turned off i would be able to see that the eight ball command has something wrong with it because the bot turned off after it was used and then i would be able to troubleshoot that later so that's how you can make an advanced interaction logger or a chat command logger for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video